Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Wichita Linemen as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now this is an incredible song from the chord progression to the lyrics to the melody, it's all there. And I'm gonna break it down for you. Step by step, we're gonna go through the whole song. So when you're done with this video, you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. But keep in mind, this is definitely more of an advanced lesson. So we're using a lot of slash chords and major seventh chords and some unusual shapes that you might not be used to. So give yourself some time and just keep that in mind as you go through this lesson. Before we dive into it though, I wanna hook you up with something right away and put something in your hand. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And this is gonna make learning from my videos so much easier and just so much more effective. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, let's get started with this song. Let's break down how to play Wichita Linemen as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. We're gonna start off with the intro, we've got a little pickup, and then four bars of music before the verse. Here's what it sounds like. One, two. So the vocals in there, I am a lineman for the county, and we hit the downbeat of the A section. So what I did was start off with this little melody that's a pickup that begins on beat three. It goes one, two. And that's the third fret on the fourth string. Then to the second fret, then a little rest. Then the third fret of the fifth string then another rest, then open fifth string, and then the third fret on the sixth string. So, three E and a, four E and a. One, two. Okay, then I play a C major seven over G. This is a great chord, and to play it, we're gonna play the third fret of the low E, the third fret on the fifth string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. It almost looks like an E chord, but just relocated here. Now I did do this melody and play, I added my pinky, because there's this string part that goes da da, so I just kind of added that in as part of the acoustic guitar part. But you could just play the straight chord if that's easier. So we got one, two. Now right there I start strumming eighth notes. So I just have this light sort of country alternate strumming pattern going. One and two and three and four and that's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Really just alternating. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Then I go to an F over G. And this is the third fret of the low E. I, I'm playing that note with my thumb. Now I do a lot of thumb chords. You can play this same chord like this without the thumb. So that would be three and then skip a string, three, two, one. Again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the handout. Here's F over G. So we're going from C major seven over G to F over G. Then we do it again. And then I am a lineman for the county. And then we're, we're into the verse there. So all together, the intro goes one, two, F over G, C major seven, F over G. And on that last chord, I'm just gonna strum a whole note and then, you know, Glenn comes in. I am a lineman for, then we go the county.
All right, so this is the A section here. Now we start out on an F major seven chord. And this is on the word counting. I am alignment for the F major seven. So that's one, three, three, two, one, open. Now if that chord is too hard, just play from the fifth string down. You can always make these chords easier, just play less notes of them. Then we go to a C chord, but with an E in the bass. So we actually let that low E string ring. Da da two three four, then C over E. Da 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 da. Then we go back to F over G, which is that chord from the intro. Then we play two beats of A minor to two beats of E minor. So so far each chord has lasted one bar. So one two three four, switch two three four, F over G two. Three, four, but now we go A minor, E minor, then D. So A minor to E minor, two beats each. One, two, three, four, then D, two, three, four. Then we go to A sus four, two, three, four, to A. Okay, so all together, this A section with the pickup, again, I am alignment for the county. Keep the same strumming pattern going. One and two and three and four and A minor, E minor, D, A sus four, A two, three, four. So we hold that A chord out and the lyric reference here is, I hear you singing in the wire. And that leads us into the B section, which goes like this. Two, three, four. Then we go back to the A section. So let me break this down bar by bar. We're starting on a G chord, and I play this G here, the one where I mute the fifth string and play third fret, then open D, open G, third fret, third fret. So I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm gonna use that same strumming pattern that we used in the A section in the intro. It just goes through the whole song. That's our feel. It's like one and two and three and four and. So we'll stay here for two bars. Then we'll go to D over F sharp. That's a D chord with a thumb on the low E. And then to D minor over F. This is thumb on the first fret here, then third fret of the fourth string, second fret, third fret, first fret. Okay, so that's the first four bars. G for two, D over F sharp, D minor over F. Then we go to A over E. So that's an A chord, but I put the E in the bass. It's a great sound. And then E sus four is still on the line. This is F major seven, then G. So this is E sus four. We're gonna play open, two, 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 open, open. Then to F major seven, G. F major seven. Then F over G again either like this or with the thumb. Then right there you have the lyrics, I know I need a small vacation, and that goes back to the A section. So let's put everything together. We're gonna play this whole thing one time through so you can get a feel for it. We'll start with that intro. Get set on the third fret here. I'll count you in. One, two, and. the A section. All note, one, 
to go to G. D over F sharp. D minor over F. A over E. E sus4. F major 7. G. F major 7. And we'll end on F major 7. Congrats on making it through this song lesson. Make sure to go back and rewind the video and just review any parts that are unclear. And remember that it takes time for your hands to get used to these new chord changes. So give yourself some time, but keep practicing it. And before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And these handouts are gonna make learning from my videos so much easier and more effective. So check that out as my gift to you. Also leave a comment down below and let me know what song I should teach here next on the channel. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.